I am going to show you the steps that I would take to add my candle design onto a video mock-up without using Photoshop. Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Emery. I am your resource for all things digital mock-ups, e-commerce, graphic design, Photoshop. I am looking forward to sharing all kinds of tutorials, tips and tricks, and day in the life with you. So, I'm excited, but let's hop into the tutorial. Just a disclaimer, what I'm going to show you today isn't the most realistic, and it does take a lot of time, but if you are balling on a budget and you haven't quite decided to invest in the smart object files yet, this tutorial's for you. So just wanted to make that quick disclaimer. Alrighty, so we will need a couple different websites today to get the final product. Let me bring them up. So for one, of course, we will be using Printify. This is the candle that I have a mock-up of, so we're gonna be using this exact candle. We'll be using Photopea, which is a free, yes, I said free, crazy, I know, free version of Photoshop, you just look up photopea.com, and of course Canva. But first and foremost, this is my store. I will link it in the description so you can kind of see if there's any mock-ups that you have to have, which I hope so. I will say I'm about to launch like a whole new line of mock-ups. It just takes a long time. It takes a lot to get them posted, which is crazy. Anyways, let's drive right into it. So I'm going to start in Printify. You need to already have your design file, your label design file. So here I am, I'm going to add, I'm just gonna use this one, cause it's easy. Then you go to preview and you are going to download context three whenever it decides to load. It takes forever. Once it is loaded, just download that. So now we're going to hop over to Photopea and you are going to open that file that you just downloaded. And there's two different ways you can do this. You can go to quick selection. That's what I'm going to use. Or if your design is a little bit harder to select, you can go to the lasso or the magnetic lasso totally up to you. I'm using this. See, it selects most of it. I press Alt to erase the selection. I will say I highly recommend investing in Photoshop. Photopea is great that it's free and it has most, almost all tools, but it's very glitchy. And as someone with very short patience, I have to have like a smooth program. That's just me though. So I'm gonna refine the edge because you need it like as crisp as possible. As crisp. Frankly, my selection looked looked fine. So I actually don't have to touch this up. But you, depending on your design, you might have to do that. As you can see, the shadows are very heavy and not all of my um, files that we'll be putting this on is very dark. So I'm just gonna go to image adjustments and then go to levels. Play around with this. Like I said, each design is different. What will work best for you. But I kind of recommend moving this little white slider to kind of tone down that a bit. I don't think you need to move that one. Not that one. Okay. That looks good enough for me. So now you just go to File, Export As, and then PNG. PNG so it's a transparent background. So now we're going over to Canva. I'm going to open the file that I have my video mockups on. As you can see, I've already tried to do this multiple times. Welcome to take 25. Okay, so I'm just going to upload the file that I just downloaded from Photopea. And once that decides to load in, I'm going to size it as best as I can. Like I said earlier, this is not going to be perfect. This is going to be kind of as good as it gets without using the smart object mockups. So I'm going to get that thing on there. But you might be thinking, Emery, it looks like crap. Yes, a little bit right now. So bear with me. We are actually going to go to edit and adjust and play with it. It's totally up to your design. 
But for this one in particular, and I think it needs to be a little brighter. Yeah, no brighter. And then it needs more contrast, perhaps. Highlights, I could use some more of them. Like I said, it's so up to your design, how you want it to look, up to you, babe. Yeah, adjust the shadows a bit. I don't need that many. Dude, that looks really good, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Look at that. And boom, like, press play. You're kidding. You're kidding. Looks good. But yeah, that's how you do that. But I will show you right now the difference. You see how much, how long that took? I don't know how long was that. Um, it took me about eight minutes to do one mock-up. If you had the Photoshop file, as you can see, I've already done it, but all I have to do is boom, boom, file, place embedded, drop that sucker, control S, save, boom, export, you're done. That took what, three seconds? I'm telling you, I highly recommend making this investment and saving you so much time so much time it's actually look how good that looks man but totally up to you but yeah thank you for watching i hope this tutorial kind of aided you in your little journey if this helped you out please leave a like and a comment i love hearing from you guys it's actually so cool to like think that someone is watching this i'm talking to a camera and you're like watching this on a screen it still blows my mind but yeah, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and wishing you the most success ever. Yeah, thank you guys again. Okay, bye.